Two, the fact is that there is no hard evidence, continuing evidence, of the risk and dangers associated with fracking. That has not been proven to any real extent. Some people will argue that question. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, it's been true. Second, thirdly, is the fact that the production of, or energy derived from natural gas produces at least one half the carbon dioxide content that ordinary other fossil fuels like coal. We'll see a essentially less of a reliance on coal, which is a good thing, and less reliance on oil-derived energy sources. Natural gas will replace it. They're much cheaper. Moreover, there are lots of alternatives, there are lots of possibilities as a result of the use of natural gas that we really haven't considered, namely income. I mean, our, as a result of sale of natural gas to other countries that are limited in terms of their energy capability, that is going to go on. We're going to sell gas to other countries that can deserve it. In fact, we ought to be doing it to Europe right now to, mm -hmm. to essentially reduce the limit, the, their dependence on Russian gas. And Russian, that's right, on Russian gas, on, on gas from the Middle East. Uh, right now there's gas from Mexico. Right. So we have a lot of resources of gas and where it can come from. We don't have to get our, keep getting our gas from Saudi Arabia. Well, we've eliminated them. They are not, uh, and they don't and, and and there, no and consequence. They're, and they're on and Venezuela. Venezuela's That's another, another one, one that we're, you know, and we're being dependent on. Well, David, I want to really thank you and I want to invite you back because you do a lot of other things. I, we could talk about nuclear. We could talk about robotics things that you, you know, and that's why, why it's so important to get the right person on these TV shows because they know what's right and what's wrong because they're not just the media, they're actually, you're a chemical engineer, well trained with a PhD, and you know quite a lot about these things that a lot of people don't know, and they're just guessing, and they just like to hear themselves talk, and I really appreciate and very happy to have you on our show. Thanks Thank a lot, David.